Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Project. If you're ready to finally commit to lifelong health, feeling better, and improving your mental and physical health for good, you're in the right place. Hey, I'm Jennifer Coble, a nurse practitioner, certified functional medicine practitioner, boy mom to three, and wife. I have a calling on my life to transform the way that you view and experience healthcare because I believe that traditional medicine is leading people astray. We don't need to give a pill for the ill. We need to empower people to have a true lifestyle transformation, both internally and externally. And most importantly, commit and be disciplined to the process. It's time for you to go against the grain to get to optimal health that is going to have you feeling incredible. I can't wait to create a true lifestyle change with you. Let's mandate vegetables and tackle this project together. Hey, welcome back. It is Monday. Happy Monday. So today is about a detox from your unhealthy diet. And where do you even start with that? Maybe you've started once. Maybe you've started twice. Maybe you've started what you feel like is a thousand different times. And that's okay. Because you're a little bit better little bit more prepared than what you were when you first started okay but let's just talk about something real quick when you're changing your diet or detox and getting rid of things that you don't need or don't make your body feel good or make your mind feel good or feel well it's not necessarily about the doing or the actions because all of us can do things and we can all act out what we need to do but for it to become a lifestyle it's about what goes on in your head and if you're anything like me there are one million tabs open like on your computer I probably have at least 10 open right now but there's a million open in my head and then you're just constantly shuffling through each one, trying to make sure you're addressing all the things. So it's super important that you wrap your mind around a few ideas when getting ready to change your life and habits. Um, this is what we talk about in the Healthy Habits Blueprint as far as changing your mindset and determining what obstacles could possibly come up. I'm um, just one of the many things that we cover, but the basics. So a lot of people say, oh, the basics are, you know, you need to learn what to eat and what to drink and what to do. No, the basics, let's, let's bring it back to the basics, is changing our mind so that we can prepare to change our life. Okay, now a couple of questions, actually there's, there's four main points to this, but there's a lot of questions that I want you to ask yourself. And um, if you have a piece of paper, that's great. If you have your iPhone, take it out, type these out, and really and truly take five minutes and think about these things. Write them out. Think through them so you can start making that change today. So the first thing is to, ter to determine, are you ready to change? And your reply is probably, well, yeah, I mean, I'm listening to your podcast, right? Like, I clicked on this episode, so, duh, like, that's a stupid question. No, really, it's not. Are you really willing to change? Are you willing to give up the convenience of bagged foods, packaged foods, fast food, drive throughs the sweets, the habits that aren't serving you, the habits that are making you feel like crap. I mean, how important is this detox to you? And what is the difference between where you are now and where you want to be. 
So again, I'm going to ask, are you ready? Are you truly ready to change? Because the first step is making the decision to change, okay? Now, if you answered yes to this question, which I'm sure that you did, because you're here, we're going to proceed to number two. So then we ask ourselves, what do you need to change? Maybe you think it's your food that you need to change, your food intake. Well then, how are you going to change your food intake? Are you going to start meal prepping or meal planning? Um, are you going to just slowly add in a vegetable at one meal you know, every day? Are you actually going to start eating? <laughs> um, talk to several women lately who just don't eat. And that is not the best habit to have um, for your body, for your energy, for your m mental, <laughs> mental health. Okay, food, food is good. God gave us food. Let's eat and let's eat good food. Um, so then you think of like, how are you going to implement the new change in your life? So you say you want to start cooking supper one night a week. Okay, well, how are you going to implement this change? Are you going to cook it that night? Are you going to meal prep like on Sunday and then cook it on Tuesday? So you cut everything up and have it all ready to do on Tuesday? Uh, you know, when are you going to grocery shop? Or if you're um, you know if you're going to start an exercise program, well, okay, when do you have time to exercise? Have you looked at your calendar, looked at what you have to do versus what you feel like you need to do, and where do you put in this exercise? Are you going to have to take something out? of your life that's not as important as your health? Well, if so, then we have to make some adjustments, okay? So you have to look at obstacles that could come up and think how you're gonna overcome these obstacles, okay? So maybe you're not sure what you need to change. Maybe you don't even know what you're doing that's not benefiting your health. You just know you feel bad and something's gotta change. A lot of this has to do with our food industry because, you know, they like to make money. They like to sell their products. So they stretch the truth a little bit to get you to believe that their product is quote unquote healthy. Okay. That's a different story for a different day. But what it all comes down to is the majority of your diet should focus on foods that look as close to how God created them as possible. Fruits, vegetables, proteins, and their whole natural form. Okay, that should be the majority of your diet. Um, now that, for some of you, is a huge jump. Huge jump. And so that's where we have to go back to the beginning, to the small changes, and think about where do we want to start. And just start. Okay? Now, how will you implement and stick to this change all right first couple of weeks we're all about it super on fire and then kind of fall off the wagon so find a person or a mentor or a coach um, possibly a relative preferably not your husband um, that doesn't generally work out very well um, in my experience but Find someone who you can be accountable to, who you can say, you know, I'm going to do this. So when you see them, you can say, hey, I've done X, Y, and Z. Okay. Um, again, come up with a game plan, how you're going to stay accountable. Pick that person. Let them know and help them keep you accountable. Now, this is a little, this is a little far down the road. It's hard for any of us to say because we, none of us know how what God has in store. But number four 
is where do you see yourself in 10 years after you start this detox or this new lifestyle? Are you cooking meals every night? Are you keeping off that 10 to 15 pounds that you lost? Are you continuing to have boundless energy? Do you see yourself keeping up with your grandkids or your kids? Are you continuing to feed your family delicious, nutritious meals? Are you sharing your change with others? Like, wh Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Because if we can see where we want to be, that helps us to to set our mind on the small things that we need to change and what's going to help us reach that goal, that 10 year goal. Um, and then, you know, remove the things that aren't going to help us. So it was a little bit different, a lot of questions to think about. So if you want to, you know, go back, stop this at any point, write down some of these questions. So the first is determine, are you ready to change? It's probably going to be a pretty, pretty quick and simple <laughs> one. Um, what do you need to change? What do you feel like you need to change? How will you implement the change? And where do you see yourself in 10 years after you start this change? This lifestyle change or this detox? Okay. So, go ahead, write those down, think about them, ruminate on them, chew the cud a little bit, and if you're ready, you can go to jennifercobel.com forward slash course, and this is going to help you overcome those obstacles. It's going to help come up with a game plan that fits your life. It's going to help you understand what weight loss myths are and the possible weight loss myths that you're you've been you know believing um it'll help you uncover distractions and identify obstacles before they come up so you can go ahead and and plan for them and then it will help you to break up with your bad habits that you have realized that you have that aren't helping your energy or your weight loss or your health and then we're going to pick a healthy habit to focus on and then figure out how to prioritize your time to fit in these healthy habits and all of this together is going to help you come up with the detox and the new lifestyle that you're looking for so I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I hope y'all have a wonderful Monday. I can't wait to talk to y'all again soon. If you have any questions, send me a message at Jennifer Coble at support at jennifercobel.com. Happy Monday, friends. Love you. Bye. Real quick before you go, if this podcast has blessed you in some way, the number one way you can thank me is to head over to Apple Podcasts and subscribe to the show and leave me a written review. Can't wait to hear from y'all.